It's my feel good breakfast show. A feel good breakfast show. This is Expresso. Thank you so much for joining us on our live show this morning. Now, before the break, I said health properties, and there might be something in it for all of us when we talk about garlic. Now, aside from the fact that it tastes incredible, we all know that garlic has both culinary and medical benefits. But scientists at the UCT, uh, they say that they've uncovered garlic's cancer fighting properties. So, in this new research, UCT lecturer Dr. Catherine Koshula and her team, they've established how a compound, a compound found in crushed garlic cloves can actually kill cancer cells. And with us in studio to talk about it is Dr. Kashula herself. Doctor, welcome to the show. Hi, lovely to be here. I'm excited about this because we're saying cancer-killing properties from a compound that's found in crushed garlic cloves. Now, I want to get down to this. Why it needs to be crushed? Does it need to be heated? How effective is it in killing cancer? I mean, what, what are we talking about here? Well, the thing is, I suppose because we are scientists and we're coming from the chemistry department, we actually want to understand what the compounds are that are present in garlic that are having this effect. And in actual fact, when the clove is first crushed, there's a compound allicin which is released, which is more antibacterial properties, but this compound actually changes over time when the preparation is heated, as in a food preparation, into this cancer-fighting compound called achoin. And it's got disulfide bonds in it, which means it also has this potent garlic smell. And we've actually shown that achoin is able to enter into the cancer cell, and it's actually able to disrupt the intracellular machinery in the cancer cell and bring about a toxic effect and kill that cancer cell. I'm gobsmacked that we're going back to natural remedies. I mean, you guys are scientists. We expect you to work with chemicals and all kinds of crazy stuff. But here we're talking about stuff that's in our kitchen cupboards. Can this property, or achoin, like you, you mentioned, can it fight any type of cancer, or is it only effective in some? Well, it's been shown to be cytotoxic to a range of different types mm. of cancers, although I think what's more relevant to the human condition, because it's a dietary compound and there's a lot of epidemiological um, evidence to show that actually populations of people who consume high quantities of garlic have lower incidence of gastrointestinal cancers, specifically of the stomach and colon. So um, I would think that you know you would probably obtain the highest concentration of this compound through a meal which has been prepared with the achoin in it. In other words, being cooked, and probably exposure to um, you know oral exposure to gastrointestinal cancers would probably have a greater effect. Although we have shown in the laboratory that it is also able. Um, to act against other cancer cell types. But I think for the human condition, it's probably more gastrointestinal tract. It's exciting because now that means we can add more garlic to our food because you're saying that we need to do it while cooking. This is also the first time that you see this because, like you said, scientists want to see how the achoin or how the garlic properties actually work. What's the best way to try and consume it? I mean, take us back there. Should it always be crushed or cooked? Yes, well, if you want to get this cancer-fighting chemical, and I say it's a chemical, it's a natural compound, but it is still a chemical and it's present in your garlic. You actually need to take your crushed clove and actually you need to take your clove, crush it. And then in order to achieve um, this transformation of what's in the crushed clove into what's, what's going to be present in your food preparation, you actually need to heat the preparation. And you actually get a chemical transformation which takes place between a compound which is produced in the crushed clove and then it gets transformed through heating into this achoin compound. So um, the, the preparation would involve cooking of the clove, which I think is actually a process which we do do when we prepare. So possibly we knew about this in some way, I don't in know. In some way or another. <laughs> Doctor, it's exciting stuff, and it's exciting that even scientists are coming back to our kitchen to show us how to prepare things and to make things better. So thank you so much for joining us on our show today. Well, there you, you heard it. An excuse to add more garlic to that pizza. It's really good news, so make sure you try some on your next dinner date, especially if you know him for the first time, okay? <laughs> but there's loads more happening on our Feel Good Breakfast show. In fact, even though it can leave a smile the next day, we all know that garlic is so good for us, and... Uh, it looks like Andrea has more details on this.